My name is Dr. Michael Ryan. I'm head of vertebrate paleontology here at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, and you're downstairs in our collections looking at fossils with me. So today we're talking about a new dinosaur, a new small dome-headed dinosaur called Acrotholus odeti, very similar to this little stegosaurus skull that I'm holding here. It comes from southern Alberta from a time period called the Santonian, going back al almost 84 million years ago. These little dome-headed dinosaurs might be better known to you from its much larger cousin, Pachycephalosaurus, which was much larger and is often reconstructed in uh, pictures and on videos as two animals butting heads like uh, bighorn sheep. So Acrotholus was found in 2008 in southern Alberta by Caleb Brown, who's a graduate student now of Dr. David Evans up at the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto. He was then doing his master's thesis in Calgary and he was based, as, based in our field camp, which is part of the Southern Alberta Dinosaur Project run by Dr. Evans and myself, to look at dinosaurs from the southern part of the province. We were specifically focusing that year on the Milk River Formation, a very poorly studied part of the rock record and very poor, poorly known for dinosaurs. As part of that work, they were prospecting for new fossils and they came ac across a small potato-sized dome of this little dinosaur, the dome of Acrotholus. Caleb recognized it for what it was, brought it back to our field camp, and we all oohed and awed over it because we recognized that it was very important. From this formation, there's only one other known dinosaur, a little horn dinosaur I described as Griff Griffoceratops a couple of years ago. And now we have two dinosaurs, both named upon um, bones from the skeleton as opposed to teeth from the mouth. So one of the interesting things about these uh, small dome-headed dinosaurs is that whenever you find them, you typically find the skull cap, just like we did for Acrotholus. We find very little of the rest of the body. We occasionally find a few teeth or scraps of bones from the hands or feet, but skeletons are extremely rare. And when you look at any dinosaur in the fossil record under 100 kilograms, it's typically the case. They're known primarily from teeth or a few scrappy bones from the body. Skeletons are extremely rare. And when you compare that to the number of skeletons known for large dinosaurs, like the Tyrannosaurus, like Albertosaurus or T-Rex, or Triceratops or Centrosaurus, or even the large duckbill dinosaurs, we suspect that the small body dinosaurs are underrepresented. When they die and enter the fossil record, their bodies decompose and all those small elements are either consumed by other scavengers or or predators, or else they just wash away. So we suspect that when we look at the number of domes that we're recovering from the pachycephalosaurids, which are extremely large in terms of the number we're finding, this is a good indication of their actual numbers in the fossil record, even though we're not finding their skeletons. So we think that the pachycephalosaurids, like other small-bodied dinosaurs, like some of the ornithopods, were probably a lot more common than we're giving them credit for. As part of the field project, uh, we were looking for these new dinosaurs and we brought it back to the University of Toronto. Um, we then actually sent it down to the University of Texas where we had a CT scan done on it. That CT scan allowed us to uh, determine from the internal bone structure this actually was an adult. When you look at the evolutionary history of pachycephalosaur dinosaurs, it's always been assumed that they started off early in their evolutionary history with very small low domes and they become much larger. So you'd expect the geologically youngest uh, pachycephalosaurus to have very large domes and the earlier ones to have very low domes. Acrotholus shows that as the oldest known pachycephalosaurid in Alberta and probably the world that we have fully domed, fully larger domed pachycephalosaurids very deep in the fossil record.